Hello, hello. Go ahead and boot up Minecraft. Everything's updating today. I have like three applications that are currently updating. One of them's Minecraft. So give me a moment here. I think it's done. Any century now. There we go. I haven't the slightest clue what we're gonna do, but I have a feeling it's gonna involve the nether. And a really big tree. Okay. All right, computer, you can stop lagging at any time whenever you're ready. Oh. Okay. I will use the logs to break the logs by getting a height so I can break more logs. I thought it was clever. And get rid of the trees. I guess it's one tree. I don't know why I plural that. And I fell. Yep, oh, there's a lock I didn't get. Hold on. a couple. Sometimes I wonder if it would all go away if I just set the tree uh, leaves on fire. would but I wouldn't get anything back so I'm not sure if that's actually a good thing or not all right let's go put the logs away last time we left off I was making some uh, golden bars I'm not dealing with that today I wonder how long
long I should wait. I don't really want to wait for this tree to finish breaking itself into pieces, so we're gonna go ahead and help it along. And there was a log. You know, Minecraft did not do that before, um, way back, like, I want to say eight years ago. You couldn't, like, jump up and continue breaking a branch like that. You had to actually get some height and, uh, continuously hit it. So you can't do this in early versions. I went away. All right, we got everything. We can go ahead and break this cobblestone bridge and collect everything on the ground. Gonna put that down and harvest the cocoa because this stuff grows really fast. So does the bamboo. So do the watermelons for that matter. Oh yeah, the bamboo, the bamboo chest was over here. Oops, it easy. Okay, and then we'll put over here the log, and then we'll come back in here.
Okay, let's get our tools all set. I got my apple. We got food. We got, um... I guess I can put these away. I got coal. I guess the coal is going to go in here at some point. And so is the copper. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a chest. Oh, yeah. We also have to get um, some way to not get murked by the lava. Oh. This is the part where my phone comes in handy. to make oh, my phone is still loading um, Minecraft ocean recipes they have all chart okay okay um ocean of fire resistance that lasts a really long time Oh, they got poison, they got healing, they got strength. So I have this and ooh, they got leaping. I can be a kangaroo with leaping. That's so cool. Uh okay, okay. Fire resistance. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. awkward potion first. So I need another wart. And then I need magma cream, and then I need redstone. Another wart, magma cream, redstone, another wart, magma cream, red -ba -ba. Um I know I have a lot of redstone. Magma cream? Well, I found some nether warts. I don't know why they're up here, though. Ah, ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, magma cream is just glaze powder with I believe slime balls. I don't have a lot, but it should be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and put... Boom! I'm probably going to need to kill some... What are they called? Um... I think they're called blazes or something, or... I'm just gonna call them blazy boys. So I'm pretty sure that all of this is good to go. Hi, Mr. Bat! The more I listen to Mr. Bat go off, the more I think that that's actually what bat bats sound like. But I wouldn't know. If you think about it, bats are just flying dogs, and that makes them infinitely more cute. Bye-bye, Sky Doggo! Take care! And eat all of your fruit because, because fruit's good for you. Once again, the chocolate doesn't stop. And we filled up a chest so I can stop harvesting it because we're full. Which means bye-bye, Coco. Okay, we got Awkward Potion. Let's go ahead and put the Magma Cream in. I only think we need... Realistically, one potion should be enough. But I'm going to bring all three in because I'm greedy and, uh, yeah. Deal with it. We're baking copper. We're making potions. We have an iron sword that's enchanted, and another one that's back up. Um, 
What was I gonna do? Probably make another shield is a good idea. I think it goes a little something like that. Okay, we got our fire resistance. I'm gonna go ahead and put one there. So we can quickly swap to it when we um, need it. Let's go ahead. Where the heck did I? Oh yeah, I put it over here. Um, I'll put the iron in there. You know what? Let's go ahead and see if I can enchant the shield. Because why not? I cannot. That's okay. I can just save enchantment levels in Lapis. Everything's good. That will continue. And I'm going to go ahead. And for the funsies, we're going to fill... We're going to put some glass bottles in there. And you know what? There's no such thing as a nighttime in the nether. So let's just go ahead. Bye, skeletons! Oh wait, how, how's my armor looking? Um... Okay, there's a llama in the nether. Sure. That totally makes sense. So we got piggy boys, um, we got a spawner over here for blazes, which is what we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of this. There's a blaze over there, there's a blaze over there, and we're being shot at. A lot. It's fine, we'll wait for the blazes at home. Bye bye. can't be heard as easily. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if they can hurt me anymore. Did I just become Shira the Unstoppable? Who knows? All I know is this thing is spawning two of them, and it's giving me a lot of uh, blaze rods. Which I'm not going to complain about. Come out, come out, come out, blazes. So I can take your bones. I think that the blaze rods are their bones. Oh, whoops. That's Q. That is not the same key.
I have to be a little bit careful because I lost some health. Or not. Be okay. I think it just spawned three. Does it randomize uh, the spawn rate? And there's another one. I can't really reach that one without going around or digging through here. I don't want to deal with that. How much longer do I have? Four minutes? I guess we'll stay here for another like three and a half minutes, give or take. Um, and then we'll progress and start looking for more stuff. Because I want to maximize uh, this potion and get as many blaze rods as possible. So, that's going to be the plan. Bye bye. Ten is a pretty good number. That's like thirty. Uh, what do they call them? Blaze flame magic, whatever they're called. Blaze powder. Actually, that's twenty. But still, twenty blaze powder is pretty good. Bye-bye. Let me just mine this out. This is kind of in the way. Oh, hi. Um... Okay, you are in an interesting position. You know, I might just have to go back and make another iron sword at this rate. Which might be beneficial because I also have to make a bow because of the guests and the fact that those guys are not fun.
I guess we'll start heading back in about a minute. I think the blaze just hurt a little picky. Now picky is going to go against blaze and kill it. But picky, picky cannot kill blaze because blaze is over there, and picky was here. Could you guys be in any harder to reach locations? Fine, I'm leaving. Because my fire resistance is about to wear out. I am so glad that that uh, did not catch on fire. Because that could have been bad. I do believe I am somewhat lost. It's fine, it's fine. I think we went back further this way. Yeah, there it is. Where did the llama go? Guys, the 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 the, the, the llama, it it disappeared. I swear I didn't do it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and forge another sword and enchant it because I need I need it. Uh, let's see what else. Maybe some iron boots. I see that the crafting has stopped when we went into the nether. Unbreaking and protection. That's cool. And then sword time. Unbreaking and sharpness, which is better than what I have now. Cool. Okay, um, let's see what we got working here. I can put these two away. Okay, think, think, think. What was I also coming up here to do? I forged new equipment. And then what? I think that's it. I think I just had to forge equipment and enchant it, right? I don't think I'm missing anything. You know what? It's bothering me that I have an enchanting table in the air. Let's put it somewhere a little bit more reasonable. Am 
may not be the best place, but that works. Let's go ahead and take this cobblestone back. Because I could have sworn that there was something else I needed. Oh, that lag is real. Hi, uh, pick people, zombie, pick guys that are not mean to me. Hi, Lava, that is mean to me. Hi, pick people that are mean to me. Oh, yeah, I was gonna get a bow. Eh, too late. I'll just whack their, uh, attacks back at them. Everything should be fine. Everything should be all right. Oh, gold. I still have no clue what the nether quartz is supposed to do. You will not hurt me today. Oh! That's nice. You know, I didn't even see him. He kind of just blended in with the darkness and the and the chaos. Got to be a little bit careful. spawn but I don't care it seems like this area goes down question is do I want to dig down though Why not?
Huh. I guess there isn't anything down here. Did they just place some um, nether brick fences there for the funsies? Because I feel like that's what they did. Eh, oh well. I think I came from that way. Yeah, and then I mined the gold here, and this is where the skeleton was. to live in peace. I want to live in peace, but they don't. Okay. Eh, because I'm here, I might as well mind the courts. The only reason I'm okay using a diamond pickaxe is because I want to forge another one with better enchantments. I've been here. I feel like I have and I just didn't pay attention to it. Hello, baby gold. Oh, that's a bit of a fall. Eh, just a bit. Okay, the, the young ones are not aggressive. Is it because they know they can't hurt us without getting absolutely de demolished? Or because they're just nicer?
Talk to get back up there. Uh... I guess that works. Bye-bye. You know, I just realized I should probably bring uh, a crafting table, a lot of cobblestone, and of course my sticks with me so that I can like make more pickaxes. Are you gonna hate me like everyone else? No? Okay, I'll leave you alone. How the heck am I gonna get, get down there safely? Uh, maybe they're here? Mm, that's a nope. I'm going to see if I can retrace my steps. Hey, you can't just attack me and run away. You will pay for your sins. I think those are Piglin and the guys up there that don't attack you until you attack their friends are called Zombie Pigmen. Hey, Quartz. Hey, more Quartz. A lot of cords.
Yeah, does this ever end? I thought I would reach something by now. Oh. I guess it does end. Nice. I just don't know where it ended up. That's the only thing. Well, besides up. Very, very much up. get all the cards. I honestly don't know what to use it for. Okay, so that's where we just were when we started digging the tunnel to forever, I guess. Now instead of digging tunnels, let's dig bridges. Wait, digging bridges doesn't make sense. Building bridges. There we go. I guess in rare circumstances you could dig a bridge. It's unusual, but you could. Like if there was a large river and you had to cross it, but it was really deep and it was really rough and... You, uh, couldn't swim through it for whatever reason. I guess technically you could, like, dig through a mountainside or something. Like this. I feel like I've seen this area before, but I don't know. Let's try digging into it, see where it leads. Bedrock. At least I know that that exists in the nether. Yes, I didn't know that before. Um, let's try to sort of dig in that direction. Uh oh. Well, that was unexpected, but at least I'm back home. Well, now I know how to look out for that. Go ahead and grab all the nuggets and we'll compress them. Because I'm pretty sure you can just turn gold back into nuggets.
Yep, you can. It's a reversible process. Oops, I forgot my lapis. This lazuli. It sounds like a spell. What did I have? Oh yeah, I had that over there. Okay. So we got unbreaking and efficiency. Which is pretty good for a diamond pickaxe. As I close a trapdoor over my head. I guess you could say I got a little ahead of myself. Haha. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. I'll put this there and then I'll put that there. And then what we'll do... We'll keep a crafting table with us, and we will go ahead and take a little thing of cobble. Alrighty, um, let's go ahead and deposit everything. Like so. Okay. Oh yeah, bone blocks exist. Ah. Let's go ahead and take care of a, a little bit of my farm. Cocoa because I have too much. And it should be fine. I think that one I harvested a little early. Eh, no one's a perfect farmer. Let's go ahead and bring some logs with us so that I can make sticks. Wait, that's not necessary. I have a lot of sticks. Back into the new derby go! And there's still no signs of a llama. Oh yeah, I only have one more fire resist potion. I should probably go back and make some more. The only problem is, uh, 
I don't really have an area for slimes, do I? I don't have an area to harvest them. That's going to become an issue if I want to keep getting fire resist. Okay, hold up. I'm pulling up a wiki. Now that's File Explorer. Um, Google, tell me what to do. Lines Minecraft. They either spawn deep underground in particular chunks or at night in swamp biomes. Regardless of light levels, they spawn in specific slime chunks below layer 40. They can also spawn in swamp biomes between layers 51 to 69 place. And light levels of seven or less with these layers technically near the surface. Okay. Okay, okay. Um I know what to do now. I think we determined that 40 was right here. Got a phone. So that's a lot of bats. What was the developer tool thing in magic again? Oh, that's up to, okay, F3. We are, where the heck? Hold on, I'll figure it out. Okay, I figured out where the axis is. Let's go ahead and... So it's like right here? Hold on. Did it say below 40, above 40, at 40? Below layer 40, regardless of light. Okay. So we can actually go all the way down here and just continue our original idea. Which is that this entire area was supposed to be um, a slime farm, and then it just did not become that. So, we're going to continue. Well, what a pleasant surprise. Hey, was there a rock? Uh, rock? Yep, there was one behind it.
in the process of getting a lot of cobble deep slate, we're going to find um, we're gonna find some slimes. Hopefully, maybe they'll spawn. I'll make sure it's a flat area so that we can fight them easily. Hopefully they actually spawn down here and I don't just end up making a giant arena. Arena 2.0 but without the, uh, what's it called? Obsidian? I think Minecraft is the only game where you can set out to, like, try to make a fun, like, do something, and you just end up creating, like, a way to farm something else. I wonder how Deep Slate originates in this game. Is it natural? I mean, I assume it's gotta be, but... I'm not sure if there's a way to figure that out. Also, I could have sworn I heard an Enderman. I know you're out there. Come fight me or whatever. He's probably above me. Hello? Well, I can see that this goes on for a little bit longer. I'll have to set aside some time to explore this area. Hey, zombie! Bye-bye, zombie. I apparently forgot how to get out of here. Oh, there we go. Hello, Redstone.
This is below uh, 40, right? I'm, I'm not going crazy. Yep, it's at 5. Uh, we should be good. the heck oh there's a little thing here okay Hi, CI. Welcome to the chat stream thingamajig. We were going we are going to explore more of the nether and it ended up uh resulting in shenanigans so i decided to do the next best thing which is make a slime farm so that i can make a lot of magma cream so that i can make fire resistance so that's what we're doing You've seen the um, the obsidian arena. Now get ready for the underground arena. That's just covered in stone and stuff. I think we found some diamond. It's all thanks because someone joined the chat. That's why we found diamond. Thank you. I made chili with a bunch of spices and barbecue sauce, by the way. That sounds really good. I actually got some ghost pepper to put in my um, dishes. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you know how that goes. I just haven't been in the mood to cook lately. I should. Thank you. I'm really happy. I, it's only two, but that's still better than like nothing. That almost offsets the fact that I uh, used two, three diamonds to make another pickaxe. Cooking is fun, but I end up making enough servings for like four people, and then um, I can't eat it all. 
So I kind of have to have someone around when I cook because that way it's it's actually worth it. I don't know, maybe I'll cook tomorrow. I feel like it's common to do that because we don't want to like cook every day. So we end up making enough for like several days so that we don't have to cook all over again. I mean, nobody eats my cooking either, but that's just because I don't have many friends where I live. So, yeah. I would try it, but I don't eat barbecue. Not a big fan of it. I guess if it's like a sweet barbecue, I might try it. Hey, I found more diamonds! I could mail some cooking, but it includes shrimp, and uh, that stuff doesn't exactly stay good for very long. So, yeah. Otherwise, I would. I usually make like a stir fry with soy sauce, uh, teriyaki sauce and soy, what's it called? Soybean oil? No, sunflower oil? I think it's sunflower oil. I use a lot of other stuff too. Lemon juice gives it a little bit of a citrus kick. Um, what else do I use? Well, if you're not used to spicy things, I'll have to leave out um, the ghost pepper. I hear that stuff is really, really spicy. Normally, my recipes use, um, what's it called? Cayenne pepper. That's what I normally add whenever I feel like I'm in a spicy mood. Yeah, ghost pepper probably would, but at the same time, I hear that spiciness is good for you for some reason. So... Uh, yeah. Plus, if you succeed, you can breathe fire. I hear that's possible with really spicy foods. You could become a dragon. You'll become sea eye dragon instead of sea eye fish. Oh, I forgot to check something on my phone. Hold on. That's from Teen Titans. Only the Titans can breathe fire. Did you just assume that I can't? Because I probably could. If you dared me. 
And what this? Oh. Clap. Wait, prove what? I already forgot about what we were talking about. I have a really bad memory sometimes. I should also go get something to drink real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go get something to drink. I'll be back in a second. Chair Dober! I'm back. I said I could breathe fire. Okay, see, here's the thing. Um, I didn't think of that when I had my avatar made, so I can't prove it on stream. Also, if I breathe fire, I would probably burn my house down. Your emojis of suspicion and, um, and, and confusion, they feel my ability to continue to, um, I guess, possibly say things that might be true or might not be true. Does this music sound like it comes from the Elder Scrolls Oblivion? Doesn't it? I half expect an Argonian to start uh, running up to me. Asking for something crunchy like carrots or apples, and then when I say no, I don't have any, it goes me 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 me. Sure, tell me a fun fact. What's up?
This must be a pretty long funk. Uh, I almost said funk fact. Oh, it is. You can add sound alerts to make your stream more interactive. You can also add funny commands like... Oh. Hold on just a moment. I'm repositioning the torches in case their height makes a difference on spawning slimes or not. So yeah. Eh, we can leave those there. I mean, I have a sound alert for when I have a new follower. I'll have to look into the others, though. Making, like, little uh, commands and whatnot. I wonder if I'll have time tonight to look into that. That is a good idea, but when I BRP, I'm normally getting something to, something to drink, and my mini fridge is like literally right behind me. I mean, the mini fridge wasn't too expensive, and I had a little bit of money after my first paycheck. So I decided to splurge a little bit and get myself a mini fridge so I don't have to leave my desk anytime I want something to drink. Well, I got you beat. I can just walk 1.5 seconds instead of 3.5, so... Yeah, mini fridges are great. Also, my kitchen's in another room, so I would have to actually, like, get up and head over to the kitchen. Ah, zom boobal! That's zom boobal. That scared me. I knew I could hear him, but I didn't think he was in the tunnel. You know, the well lit tunnel where they shouldn't be spawning. I think that's a good opportunity to start putting stuff away. Yeah, my my room used to be next to my kitchen when I lived in a studio way back when. And now I don't. Hold on, I have to open this bottle. Okay. Oh, that, that, that's escape. Those are pretty tall.
Well, you already started regrowing. That was pretty fast. Ah, oh, pop, pop, pop. Okay. Just chopping down a tree. Ba, 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 ba. Where did I put my redstone? There. I have some there, and I can put some there. I'll put some there. And then I'll put my diamonds there. And then I'll put my lugs. There. And then I'll put a sapling in the ground. I'm surprised the carrots didn't finish growing. Or did they and I'm just going crazy? Uh, nope, I'm not crazy. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. I'm going to go ahead and make another stone pickaxe. They certainly have been taking a little bit of time. I'm going to put that crafting table there because the next time I travel to the nether, I'm bringing it with me. Did I deposit everything? I think I did. Down we go! Woo! I mean, for a game that's sandbox, $20 is not terrible. I think I got mine for 30. It was either 20 or 30 on my end. Of course, I'm using a Java edition, so there's that too. If it goes on sale, you might be able to get it for 15. I just wish that um, Java came with the addition of, uh, what's it called? I wish you could turn RTX on with Java. That would be nice. Hey, there's call.
Ah, yes, give me your non-renewable, mineable sources of energy. I need torches now. Oh, yeah, maybe they will have a sale like that. If you're not scrambling to get it, I would probably wait then. I'll probably mine a little bit deeper into this wall so I can just leave that unpatched. Is that so? So wait. If that's the case, I should make a video game so that you can judge it and give it top opinion and then I can charge $90 for the game. I'm starting to wonder if it's even worth patching that, uh, Top part up. Patch it. At least not yet. Maybe I'll patch it when I'm done. Besides, I want to see how um, that open area affects whatever the heck is up there before I patch it because I don't want to do anything stupid. I would think this would be enough for uh, slimes to spawn in, but I'll go ahead and make the ceiling a little higher. Just by a single block, that should be enough. 
I mean, it's already more than enough according to the official leaky, but I just want to make sure. Oh, uh, whoops. I done goofed a little bit. It's okay, we got slabs. I can do something with them, maybe. Oh, there's coal up there. Would you believe me if I told you I never played GTA 4 or 5? The only Grand Theft Auto game I played is Vice City. Oh, I uh, had Vice City for the PlayStation 2. I think Vice City takes place in the 1980s. It's definitely giving me that feel. Like late 70s, early 80s. Maybe mid 80s, I don't know. Ghost pickaxe. I have to go make another now. Boop. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Hey, Cole. Give me your non renewable energy and jewels or whatever. is pretty cool. Just adjusting my hair, don't mind me. Uh, 
Minecraft music is relaxing. Redstone. My redstone. Redstone is cool. You can use it to take uh, potions of fire resistance and make them from three minutes to eight. And I think that's really awesome. I guess technically by that logic, that means that our redstone make, can make things last longer. I wonder if I can use it in bed to make my sleep last longer, because I'm always waking up tired. Stone. Not sure if it would be on the same tier as iron though or not. Because iron's quite abundant, but you also need redstone for like wizardry contraptions and whatnot. And like really What's it called? Makeshift circuits and, and stuff. Oh, you're lucky. I have to get up at 9. I usually get up at 9. I make my coffee. I make... Um... I get my lunch for the day. It's usually ramen. Like the kind, like really good ramen. It's got uh, chicken already inside of it and, and stuff and the noodles. It's pretty good. Sometimes it's a uh, prepackaged stir fry. Sometimes I just drink coffee for lunch. I really like shrimp ramen too. I didn't think I would at first because I always got chicken. And then I was like, well, what's shrimp ramen like? 
And then I tried it and it was good. I've also tried beef ramen. It's not that bad. I think bone, like beef bone or whatever, is one of my favorites. If you get it at a restaurant. I just noticed that it said saving world at the bottom. I did not notice that before. It's insane, I can mine from all the way back there. Hey, Babu. Welcome. I'm just trying to mine this area out so that hopefully slimes will start spawning because magma cream is kind of important in the nether. So yeah, I'm just mining the ceiling out so that uh, the slimes have plenty of space to spawn and move around and I guess go splurchy splurch or whatever. I don't know what sounds slimes make. It sounds like they go splurch. I already know I'm going to need another pickaxe, so we're just going to go ahead and make one. Just collecting my, uh, my loot, if you will, the stuff that I mine. I think we nearly got this entire ceiling mined out. Like, as far as I want to go, anyway.
Why are you getting GTA for the 10th time? Why not play it on a console you already have? Oh, okay, that's fine. It's interesting that they removed it uh, for the PS3. I guess they don't want people playing on legacy platforms. It's a major oof moment. If you're going to rise again after being one of the best, you should probably call yourself like Phoenix or something because you're rising from the ashes. Let me gather these seed seeds in the incinerator. I'm afraid I don't know what a booter is. Oh, that's what it is. I use context clues to figure it out. It's okay. I should probably uh, make this area... Like, you know, I, I should be able to make this area where you can grow stuff too. Let me go get my sand and my uh, dirt. Bye bye, axe. Uh, 
Oh, wait. Cobble, cobble, cobble. Cobble, cobble, cobble. Hey, there you go. It's a whole new experience because of the DLCs. And you can play with improved graphics. It's almost like in the PS4 version, their mouths actually move. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sand and dirt. I have to not get distracted. Sand and dirt. And sleep. Cobble or gobble. Both. I like my cobblestone, and I like eating, so it's it's both. It's the correct answer. Yeah, it's a cobble gobble. Gobble cobble? Cobble gobble cobble. Gobble cobble gobble. Okay. I mean, the Minecraft streams, even though they're every week, they're kind of short, so. I was, I'm actually a little bit over my time, but it's okay. It gives me a moment to chat and um, figure stuff out here. Hmm. I can already tell I'm gonna need another hoe. Yep, called it. Hey dirt, can you absorb the water so that the, the 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 carrots can grow, please? Sprout from the ground or something. I'm gonna go hack at these pumpkins. My shield ran away from me. Hold on, I got it. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back from the Lurk Topalypse. Lurk Top um Society of Lurks. We'll call it that. What am I going to do with a giant pumpkin? How would I grow a giant pumpkin? Why would I grow a giant pumpkin? I guess for Halloween would be a good reason. Uh, 
Oh, I got gold nuggets here. I'm gonna take them back. I build a pumpkin with pumpkins. I guess. Well done. Crafting table is not being nice right now. Okay, there we go. Gold. Let me go put these seeds in the thingamajig. In the incinerator. Can you build it for me? Okay, fine. I'll build a giant pumpkin. But I can't guarantee artistic accuracy. I'm not artistic. And, uh, yeah. Stuff. This a pumpkin. Any plans for this spoopy month? Not really. There, I built a giant pumpkin. It's big. Yeah, I like the three by three. Giant pumpkin. Use a green block for the middle stem. Uh I'll do you one better. Where's my crafting table? I can't play stuff with this lag. It's it's kind of insane. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. On the plus side, I think that... Uh, the stream's actually coming out to 1080p, I hope. I adjusted some settings. Eh, I doubt it. Hold on. Hardware monitor, go here. Okay, let's play around a little bit and see where things are. It's a giant pumpkin with a watermelon stem on the top. It is best pumpkin. It deserves a reward. I'm going to go ahead and give it an award. 
Here's my reward chest. Here it is. Epic Pumpkin King of Halloween. All right, it's time to go ahead and um, pull the lever on this whole operation. And by pull the lever, I mean do this. Put that down. It does sound cool when you're putting down the seeds. It's like a little rap beat. Like that. You grow so fast, bamboo. I have to trim you like you're a cat's claws or something. Which is funny because I don't own a cat, so I actually don't know what that's like. Plant based beets. Beets by Dr. Wheat. No, wait. Uh, hold on. I, I can figure this out. I don't have any pets. Here's a pro tip. I am the pet. Rawr. I think it's okay to clip your cat's claws as long as you don't declaw them. But I'm not a cat expert. Best pet. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day. Fun fact, I actually like it when my hair is played with. And it's super soft, too. So, there's that. I'm also an indoorsy person. I don't like being outside. Too much bugs, too much sweat, too much sunlight, like, destroying your skin. I like being inside where it's 
it's air conditioned and it's what's it called where there's wi-fi and uh and if you're tired you can just go lie down in a soft bed with like a thousand blankets on top of you that's always nice The best part is I have a ginormous comforter and a bunch of fleece blankets, so it's like really, really soft. Um, okay. Hi. That's a lot of not friendlies. But they're killing each other, so it's okay. Well, that was easy. Bye, spider. Bye, spider. Why no torches? Because I want the nether warts to grow. I don't think they can grow if there's torches. Also, I get to have adorable little bats here if I don't have torches. Hi, bats! Oh, they're so adorable. Look at them. I just want to pet them. Give them little, little ear scratches. I haven't thought about lava, actually, but I don't want to hurt myself by accident. to consider maybe I can put lava behind like a pane of glass or something so it acts as a natural light it could actually be useful now that I think about it maybe I should do that Question is, where am I gonna get the lava from? Besides the nether. Everything is just growing so fast, I can't even keep up. Bamboo, why do you grow so fast? Especially the ends. Goodness gracious. Okay, um, it looks like my processor hit a max temp of 80 degrees on one of the CCDs, but the overall temperature was 73. And the graphics card didn't even get past. On the hottest area, it did not even su uh, succeed. Ha! exceed 67 degrees celsius so i don't think it's an issue with uh, overheating gta 5 story mode takes 31 and a half hours and that's just the main objective yeah the side objectives would probably triple that at the very least Trying to figure out what else to do. I'm just gonna mine out this uh, obsidian that I was just kind of letting chill here for a bit. I wonder what's happening in the world. What are my friends doing? I 
Absolutely nothing, it seems like. Did I get any messages? That one made an emote in uh, a server that I'm in. That's cool. What do you mean, poor obsidian? It's gonna go in a box, it's gonna have a little home. Look, it's now in a home with the rest of the little obsidians so they can all uh, have, a, have a party together. What would you call an obsidian party anyway? I feel like an obsidian rave would be called like the lava dump or something. Now I kind of want a chocolate lava cake. You know what? I like obsidian rockers a lot more. We'll go with that. Everyone, Obsidian Rockers is on the house tonight. And tonight, we're playing uh, our hit single, Diamond Pickaxe. <laughs> I don't know. It would go something like that. It is getting night in Minecraft. I think. Actually, where is the sun? The sun is somewhere. It's already night over here. It's been night since I started streaming. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not even sure if I'm hungry for dinner. I might have a little quick nibble. Or maybe I'll make some popcorn. I'll think about what to do. Sure thing. I was actually going to finish this uh, obsidian and then I was going to go um, get off stream and go eat. So, because I was supposed to end like 30 minutes ago. 
But I decided to keep going because chat. But yeah, have fun with the stream. Um, almost there. There we go. Bamboo, why are you growing so fast? I thought that was a creeper. That was just the rain. That scared me. And I'm safe. I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, that was, uh, that was Minecraft for today. Um... We accomplished quite a bit. I expanded the carrots. We got some blaze rods. I made another sword. There's a creeper up there. Um, we made another pickaxe. And I expanded the uh, area for slimes and hopefully they'll start spawning. So thanks to everyone who tuned in and um, I guess I'll go make some food. So yeah, thank you for tuning in everyone. And uh, I'll see you all hopefully Sunday when I stream uh, the rest of, hopefully the rest of uh, Stray. And then the week after is Terraria. And the week after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll put up a vote on Twitter uh, probably Sunday or the day after Monday. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And it'll be up for seven days. So go to my Twitter to vote whenever I post that. But yeah, that was Minecraft. And thank you all for tuning in. And I'll talk to you all later. See ya.